Welcome everyone. This uh, video is going to show you how to add the water neutralizer calcite to your tank system. These are just a few tools you're going to need here. Uh, obviously the uh, water neutralizer which you can pick up at your local plumbing supply store. Um, bucket. I bought this uh, nice little hand pump here which helps uh, get in the water out of the tank so you could add the calcite. Uh, your funnel. Uh, a large wrench if your tank is like mine and has an access port that you need to unscrew the cap. The flashlight, uh, which you could see the uh, level of calcite that's in there. I'll uh, show you that in a minute. And then the uh, a bucket, of course, for all the water that's going to be coming out of the tank. All right, and here's my calcite tank. Uh, it's a little tough to get to. You can see the access port on the side there. Um, to check the level, uh, you just take your trusty flashlight here, turn it on, put it up against it, and here we can see oh, all the way down here. It's about halfway full right now. Uh, typically, you want to fill it about uh, 8 to 12 inches from the top, so we'll have to uh, go ahead and uh, definitely add some more to this unit. So what I did to make a little less of a mess is I taped this uh, piece of waxed uh, glossed paper uh, to the tank so that when you uh, open up that valve and the water starts to drip down, I can uh, direct it right into a bucket, that will, a small bucket that will sit uh, right here at the bottom. <clears throat> and I've had very little uh, water spillage when I open this thing up. Hopefully you're not like me and you have uh, better access to the port on your tank so you don't have to go through this extra step to keep the area clean. Okay, first step is to uh, bypass the uh, unit. So mine's this uh, little lever here. Okay, that's in bypass. Pop open the front cover here. All right, and we'll force a regen uh, on mine. You just push the switch down. And if you heard that little hiss, um, that relieved uh, pressure from the tank. So now we can go ahead and unscrew the valve here, or unscrew the cap. All right, so now I'm gonna unscrew the cap. So I'm using a uh, washcloth here, because it's gonna spray. So also help uh, Help you redirect the water into the bucket.
All right, you can see my little uh, trick there. Directing the water right into the bucket. All right, so next I'm gonna use my uh, hand siphon to get the rest of the water out. This is so you can add the calcite in without uh, overflowing the uh, tank with the water that's in there. <clears throat> so this will take uh, another minute or two to do. Get the flashlight, you can see the water level is right there. And we'll just, uh, and I want to get it somewhere close to around uh, where the calcite actually is, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, so we're just about there now. You can see the water level. Uh, just a few inches higher than the calcite. That was about two five gallon buckets full to get it to where we need it. So I'll let this go for a few more seconds and then we'll be ready to go to add the calcite. All right, and last step added my funnel into the port. Hopefully, yours is a little easier to access than mine. And we'll just go ahead and uh, start pouring the calcite in there. So we fill it up again you know that's to about 8 to 12 inches from the top of your tank is uh, what mine calls for uh, so you may just want to double check on your tank to make sure it's the same All right, so finally uh, finished adding all the calcite in. Now it looks like uh, the bag that I had wasn't quite enough to get all the way to the top, but uh, you know that'll do for now. This will uh, probably be good for uh, six to eight months for us, and uh, next time I guess I'll have uh, two bags ready for this. Okay, we'll uh, put the cap back on. Uh, check your manual on this. It'll probably tell you that this is uh, hand tight only on this one. I also cleaned the threads with that rag before I started putting this back on. Okay, and we'll uh, open up the bypass and uh, let this tank run through a full backwash. And then uh, you can start to use water in the house again. Okay, so I'm going to reset my system back to its default position and we'll just turn this very slowly so we engage each cycle and we'll let that adjust okay I'll move it again okay okay 
and we're back to default. Everything's closed up. We'll get water back in the tank. And hit that bypass again. There we go. Get all the air out of the tank and it'll go right out. Okay, we're open. So that's gonna backwash. And we'll let that go through the full backwash cycle. And then we'll be good to go. You see it uh, lifted up that calcite a little bit, about an inch or so. That's why you wanna make sure you don't fill the tank all the way to the top. Gotta to have some room for the calcite to expand. And one last thing, I just want to make sure I mentioned that when you uh, turn the water back on into the tank, make sure it's already in the backwash cycle so that any air bubbles or dirt that's in the uh, calcite will just get flushed right out. Uh, let it run through uh, backwash cycle, maybe three to five minutes, and then reset everything back up to the way it was and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for joining. Take care.